Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Code Circuit. This is Saurav here. Guys, today I will be showing you one of the dumbest interview questions that has been asked by Visa. Literally speaking, Visa has asked this question. Okay, so what I will do? I will just show you this question here. This is lead code question number 3046 and it says split the array. Okay, I will give the link in the description. You don't have to worry about this and I will just discuss what they have actually told you. Okay, so let me just open my whiteboard and I will just explain you there what they have actually told us to do. So guys, uh, as I said, it is a visa interview question. Let us just do one thing. Let us go back to the question and see this. They have told us to split the array and we'll tell you the condition. The condition is like this. The array is one, one, two, two, three, four. Okay. So let me go back here and it is something like this. The array is one, one, two, two, three, and four. Okay. This is your input array, the input. And what they have told is very silly. They have told that we have to split it into two arrays, say A1 and A2. And here, both the arrays should have elements and there should be unique elements. So ultimately, if I do this, I can say one, two, three. Here I can say one, two, four. Okay. So this, if I take a different color, so this one comes here, this one comes here, this two comes here, this two comes here, and then this three comes here, and this four comes here. Okay, so in this case, this will return true. And say, suppose in the second example, they had given one, 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 and one. In this case, if you split it, obviously A1 will have one comma one, A2 will have one comma one. So this will return false. Correct, makes sense. So guys, here we don't even have to think about the two arrays actually. The thing is that we can take a counter, okay? We can simply take a counter where we can do like this. See here, the count of one is actually two times. The count of two is actually two times. The count of three is one time. And the count of four is also one time. So anyway, when you are splitting it into two arrays, A1 comma A2, Ultimately, if the count of any element in the array is more than two, that means if it is greater than two, what does it mean? Obviously, any one of the array will have an extra element. That means if there are three twos, comma two, 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 in A1, say suppose I am taking one number. In A2, obviously I have to take two twos, correct? So in that kind of scenario, it will be wrong. So what I want to say is, if any element has a counter which is a key value pair like this, a dictionary where the element is there and the count is there. You can see, right? So in that kind of a case, what will happen? It will always be returning false. Otherwise, we can return true. It's very simple, right? I don't know why they have asked such a dumb question and that too for a very large package. Maybe, I don't know, but many people will be finding it very silly. I found it very silly. So if you want to learn this kind of questions, then you can uh, subscribe to our channel, guys. So let's do one thing. Let's go back to our code. And here, let's try to finish it off. As I said, I will take a counter is equal to, I will call the counter. Let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can view this. Okay, so what I did, I'm taking a counter. Here, I will take my nums, the array, okay? After that, what I will do is I will say for f in counter dot values because it is a dictionary, right? So if our f value is greater than two, that means if any element has a count greater than two, I will return false. Otherwise, I will go out of the for loop and I will return true. Okay, that's what we have to do. And I think this F has to be capital because we are writing the code in Python, right? So that's it, guys. This is what you had to do. See, the return type is bool, right? So I'm writing false and true. So that's all. This is so easy. So what I will do, I'll just run this for you. You see, it is accepted. And if I submit this, see, it was expected. It's so simple, and right? So guys, I hope you've understood this. And if you want to 
learn more and more coding questions like this please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon because that will really help you to get updated about the latest videos that we upload to our youtube so this is Saurabh signing off till the next time i will see you with the next video thank you and bye bye happy learning